Welcome back everyone to another episode of Assassin's Creed Unity. Today we're going to be taking a break from the main story just for a second because we're going to be exploring the cafe. I want to get this cafe started as soon as possible so I could start earning money like really quickly. Uh, unlock new weapons and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, let's get it. Something I can help you with? What is this place? It connects to the sanctuary. Less flashy than the Saint-Chapelle entrance, but we own the building. Used to be part of our intelligence network. But the place has fallen on hard times. How can I help? I'll keep an ear out for any opportunities that come up. You might also speak to the Intendant about renovating the building itself. I'm not exactly flush with coin just now. Any revenues the cafe generates are yours to do with as you see fit. The money is deposited in the chest in the study, and the more improvements you make... The more revenue. Quite. You might also find that expanding our reach into other districts will pay dividends. Merci. All right, let's get to collect your cafe income. So we got this 20. Nicely. All right, let's see what we have here. Place report, move mementos, renovations, cafe theater missions, social clubs owned. Let's go around and explore a bit. If I remember correctly, I think I only need two more legacy uh, outfits and then I complete all of them. All I need is uh, Connors and Altair's. I already managed to get uh, Ezio's, Edwards, and uh, Shay's. I already got all those three and uh, I just need two more, I think. And then I'm basically set with that. Um, another thing that I saw there is the enigmas that I got to do to get that uh, armor that I've never gotten. Uh, I'm still debating whether or not to actually do the enigmas per episode. I don't think I am simply because uh, it's just gonna be like too tedious in a sense, because okay. they're really long. A training match, that is. An assassin can just searching well around. Prepared. Isn't our mandate to work in the shadows, stay undetected, and all that? Call this the fallback option. Better to practice here in safety than pick a fight with ruffians in the streets. No? Touche. Right, so, like we saw, this is our training room. Or. Okay, there we go. Impressive, no? What is it? An heirloom of the Brotherhood. That armor was worn by Thomas de Conio. I have no earthly idea who that is. He led the raid that captured Jacques de Molay, broke the Templar's power in Europe for over a century. It used to be that an assassin who did a great service for the Brotherhood and for France would be given his armor in thanks. 
The seal that opens the vault was lost 200 years ago. It hasn't been opened since. I can see why calling a locksmith was out of the question. Tell me about this seal. It consisted of three rings, one for each of the three doors. But the seal was broken before it was lost. The fragments are no doubt scattered around Paris, with only the vaguest clues as to their whereabouts. And if someone were to find all of them, would you say that he had done a great service for the Brotherhood in France? I suppose I would at that. Oh yeah, that's an armor I'm uh, I'm gonna be taking my time getting with because uh, because I really want it. <laughs> it just looks really cool, you know. It's basically a black version of Altair's armor, and for me, the classic Altair armor always it looks beautiful for me. It, it, like just the white with like the little uh, red robe around his waist just looked like perfection right there. That and also uh, uh, Ezio's armor from Assassin's Creed brother. That one looked just beautiful. I think this is uh, Arnold's room. Is it? Okay, yeah, the bed's right there. All right. Paris, September 23rd, 1788. Dear Arno, I never thought I could be so bored in Paris. Can you imagine it? The greatest city in the world. And here I am, stuck in endless lectures from dawn to dusk. It's worse than that winter we spent in Strasbourg. Do you remember? When it snowed for a week straight, and we couldn't leave the house, and all the books in the library were in German. <laughs> we convinced that cook the house was haunted by some young Frankish prince. And the poor man refused to leave his kitchen without a rosary in one hand, and a Bible in the other. I miss those days. The things I'm learning from father's friends are... Well, I wish I could tell you about them. Someday, perhaps. But not now. And not like this. But still, I find myself missing those days. Missing home. Missing you. Next time father comes to Paris, you must persuade him to bring you along. I remain always your Elise. Yeah, that's something I never really understood, you know. I assumed that Elise's father knew that Arno was the son of uh, of an assassin from France. Like, I think it was pretty obvious. But I never understood why he never tried to train him as a full you Templar. You know, having an assassin with, like, the abilities with the eagle vision uh, could come in really handy. Then again, I'm pretty sure they didn't even know he had an eagle vision. But then again, I still don't understand why they wouldn't make this dude an assassin. You know, they taught him how to parkour, I assume, because by the beginning of the game, he already knew. Uh, but like I said, I, I never really understood that part. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be ending the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.